Once we reach the end of the reporting period and the emission report is finalized, it is time to submit it to the verifier for verification. This video explains this process. In this example we have reported emissions for 2017. As a side note, remember that the first year to report emissions according to the EU MRV regulation is 2018, and the first emission report expected to be submitted in 2019. We are reporting in 2017 for the purpose of demoing in this set of video tutorials. To submit the emission report we need to open it. We click Actions. Emission Report. Edit. Let's check the revision tab to have a better view on versions of the emission reports we generate along the process. We see the document we have generated before. When the time comes where the emission report is concluded and ready to be submitted to the verifier, we click Submit to Verifier. The system presents a confirmation pop-up window where we are informed that, while the report is on the verifier for assessment, we the company will not be able to amend it. It also includes a checkbox in case we would like to have a version generated at this point, which we will check for demoing purposes. We click Confirm. And we note the following important changes. The emission report status is now submitted to Verifier. A new version of the emission report has been created on this new status. The button to generate a new version is disabled because the report is now on the verifier side. If we look into any other tab we will note the same disabled status on addition buttons. If we go back to the My Fleet list we note the update on the status. In case users of your verifier have configured their accounts to receive emails alerts, they will get an email informing that a new emission report is ready for verification. An alert message will also be displayed in their screen. As a company, we cannot do much at the moment. At some point the verifier does his checks and confirms that the emission report is verified satisfactory. The system will present an info message indicating that the emission report has been verified as satisfactory. All users of the company who have their accounts configured to receive this notification by email shall also be notified by email. In the data grid you can also note the new status of the emission report. Although the report is now verified as satisfactory, remember that the company still has the legal obligation to notify the flag and the commission. Let's see how we can do this in the system. We click Actions. Emission Report. Edit. Let's check the revision tab to have a better view on versions of the emission reports we generate along the process. We click Submit to Commission. We can request that a version of the report is generated and we click Confirm. At this point the commission is notified. When the time comes, emission report elements which are to be made publicly available according to the EU MRV regulation will be visible in the FEDIS MRV public site. We look into the public site by changing to public in the menu button on the upper left corner of the screen. We click the CO2 emission report and we confirm that no data is displayed due to the fact that the first publication is due for 30 June 2019. Let's get back to the private area of the system. Regarding the notification to the flag, it will depend if the flag has applied to an account in the system or not. Those flags which have self-registered in the system will be able to see in their My Fleet page the status of the emission report. Provided that users of the flag state are configured to receive email notification, the system will notify the flag by email. Note that the registration process of the flag follows a confirmation by the system administrator making sure the notification of the emission reports are delivered to the right person. In case the flag does not have an account in the system, an alternative would be to download the emission report from the system and send it by email or any other mean of communication outside the system. Although we, as a company, have fulfilled our obligation, we now need to get a document of compliance and send it to the ship. And where can we get it? One of the places where you can download it is from the action menu. Download. However, the document is not yet listed. To understand why, let's go to the emission report. Click Verification Report tab. 
it is very important to understand that the document of compliance is issued on the basis of a verification report. Therefore, until the verifier generates a version of the verification report in this screen, the document of compliance will not be available. We will cover the process of collection the document of compliance in another tutorial video which we recommend to watch now.